can see my hand. There Those we go. Some nice hands. <laughs> if you're so advanced, why don't you have hands? <laughs> why don't I? What do you? A, a very astute observation, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I love that comic so much because it's just like, who didn't give him hands? Doctor Wiley. Doctor Wiley, why didn't you give him hands? I don't know. I mean, Crash Man doesn't need hands. Why? Everyone needs hands. Oh, well, he's got bombs for hands? <laughs> he's got bombs maybe, for hands. Well, maybe they can... I don't know. At least in the Archie comics they don't, but maybe they can just like switch out to normal hands. Like Mega Man can switch between his buster. buster and hands. You know what? You're so right. Maybe. Right? Blah. Excuse me. So I think the only thing that's different about veteran mode is that these guys deal a bit more damage. And they're jumpers. <laughs> they're just like, hey, we're having a party. Hey, we hey, hey, look at me. Look at me go. <laughs> now we get to fight the Alpha Splinter. Whoa. Oh wow, okay. I've heard people say that like, um like, Whoa, whoa, dude, whoa, bro. Stop. Jesus. He's anticipating my moves. And now he's going to be possessed by Dark. By Dark? Yep. I feel like this is a wrestling match. Because <laughs> you got the ring. You got the, the wrestling ring. All you need is chairs. Pretty much. Give him the chair! Ooh, he's a fast one. You know, might as well just use these missiles. That actually looks pretty threatening. Yep, a lot of missiles. Good job. I'm kidding. I love you. I love you too. Okay. You I should... leaned out of the way. I should learn how to sidestep. I should learn how to do the thing. I should learn how to do the Skyrim shuffle. Skyrim shuffle. shuffle. Skyrim shuffle. <laughs> oh hey, who just leveled up? Are you trying to tickle me? <laughs> God, I love that. If I'm so gl I'm so glad you showed me that. If you can, can you find the link, like even on on my on my Tumblr or whatever, and just like put it in the description. So <laughs> to the Skyrim Shuffle, yes. yeah, sure thing. So everyone can know what we're talking about because uh, that is legit one of the best videos I have ever watched. Oh my god, Skyrim. it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> I wonder, I wonder the, if Caitlin's seen it. I don't, maybe, but like. Besides the one that's like the lady like swimming by and she's like the gods know what you've done and then she just like, oh. keeps swimming. <laughs> that was pretty funny too. So going back to Metroid, um, <laughs> that item that we just collected from the uh, the um, the Dark Alpha Splinter, that's uh, the energy transfer module. That's our major MacGuffin in this game because we need that. Uh, this guy's actually going to explain what that is. Well, this guy that'll appear very soon. Very soon. Uno does Trace. Good call. <laughs> What's up? I'm you most. I am I'm, I'm like ten feet tall. I'm kind of important. Wait, yeah. how tall is Samus? Samus like, is six three, I think. Shit. Oh yeah, these the Luminoth are super tall. Is that his mouth or is that like his neck? Um, you know I'm what I'm talking about? Like that, like yeah. part right by the fur. I think that's like just part of his neck. Oh yeah, you're right. It's yeah, because he's like a, a weird ass mouth. Just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, he's like a he's like a bug. Like, see, he's got like the two little mouth pieces moving. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Cool. So, yeah, he's explaining the story. You know, what do what do you do? So yeah, it's immediate. Kind of important. Yeah, so a meteor crashed into ether, and it divided it into light ether and dark ether. Go, go, destroy dark ether. Go, also, go, he can power also rangers. he can uh, create um. Hey, stop flipping me off, dude. Hey, hey, hey! Fortune smiled upon us this day, for now it's bonded to you. And Samus is totes gonna. Ch oh, they they know her name. And Samus is like, okay. Well, shit, you know my name. Now I have to trust yeah. you. <laughs> Now I have to do the thing that you just told me. <laughs> yeah, I like that. It's like, your species could be the next victims. Oh, don't worry. I'm already used to that. <laughs> I had a giant purple dragon thing kill my parents. <laughs> One time! <laughs> One time! 
And this is kind of like our main means of progressing through the game, is these translators. There are four of them in the game, and obviously we get each one at each Sparkly. temple. Yep. May the way of the hero lead you to the Triforce. <laughs> <laughs> it was the, the one like commercial we watched. It was like, this is Pokemon. What was it for? Oh, um... <laughs> Like a battle camp or something? Yeah, a battle camp. Some some mobile game. The, the commercial was legit, like just poke Pokemon starters. I like, could say well, I could say the same thing about like the E three coverage. Um, one of the games that they showed off, I think you were asleep for, was a uh, Yo Yokai Watch. Yeah, I don't remember that. I was asleep. Yeah, it's a game where like you you um. Yeah, you find ghosts and then you fight ghosts with with ghosts. You <laughs> capture them. You you fight ghosts with ghosts. Yeah. Ghost, 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 sin. Pretty much. Oh. Okay, before I forget, I need to go through here. I can, I can, I can, oh, shit, what the fuck? I can't, well, I guess that makes sense. I can't use the, the spring jump without having the morph, the morph ball bombs. Okay, I will come back there. I mean, I'm going to be coming back here a lot, but... Oh, okay, that's another thing. After we beat every area in this game, we're gonna have to come back here. You looked like you were about to say something silly. <laughs> yes? I don't remember! You started talking, and now I don't remember what I was gonna talk about. I just... When you start talking, I just... I listen. Because I'm like... I love... So I forget what I'm gonna say, and, and then shit like this happens, <laughs> and then the world dies. No. Most of the time, I'm just talking to uh. To yourself. Or to the viewers. No, yeah, but you know, you you're, you're kind of important to me, so of course I'm gonna listen to you. Yep. Except for the time. Oh. And then I'm distracted, and then I'm like, sorry, you're gonna have to say it again. Uh, yeah. I need missiles. I need to blow up that... Oh, I have missiles. <laughs> cool story. Energy tank. Yay. It's literally Mega Man. You are Mega Woman. Well, which came first? The Samus or the Mega Man? I don't know. Um, honestly, I couldn't tell you. I'm gonna look that up. I, I think they're both, uh... I think they're both 1997. Or 1987. Caitlin just sent me a text in Spanish. No, oh, jeez. Um, well, all it says is Jesus Christ, but in Spanish. Oh. Um. Yeah, I, yeah. I know Mega Man's eighty-seven. I don't know if um. Um, Sam. I think Samus is eighty-seven as well. Metroid. I don't know. Me Metroid. Would you ever want to play um, the NES Metroid on the channel? Sure. Why not? I mean, um, am I playing it, or are well, you playing well, it? Well, just us, the channel, playing it. Um, if you're playing it, sure. If I'm playing it, it's gonna take forever. I've never beaten the original Metroid. Well, I mean, I guess... Well, you know, you're, you're better with that. Well, I've beaten, um, I've beaten Zero Mission, so all that kind of counts. Samus came first. Samus came first? 1986. Okay. Yeah, no, because Mega Man is 87. Okay, yeah, so Samus did E-Tanks first. I actually know... Even if Mega Man... Even if Samus wasn't 87, she still would have done E-Tanks first, because... Mega Man 1 didn't have E-Tanks. E-Tanks weren't introduced until Mega Man 2. And that game was a so, masterpiece. So basically, Mega Man is Samus Man. <laughs> sure. No, Mega Man is the Mega Man is the offspring of Samus and Kirby. What? How, why Kirby? Because he copies abilities. Oh. Except that's that also was, bullshit because. That was clever. Except that's also bullshit because Kirby came in 1991, I think. You have to find the father. Oh, we could go on about Kirby, but these guys are cool. Isn't Kirby technically a baby? Yeah, Kirby's baby. Boom. Uh, oh, oh, that was. Oh, now I'm a little nauseous. 
I don't know why, but that just got me. It's a little gross, yeah. That was disgusting. <laughs> yeah, it could continue in this room, but it goes to a locked door. I just remembered I have ice cream. You do have ice cream. Yeah. I just remembered I still have beer. Yes, you do. You have Yay. like five beers. I have I have a lot of beers. You need to drink a beer. We still have. <laughs> drink your beer, son. <laughs> we still need to finish those beer. Readers. Those beer, yeah, those uh, beer. Those beer. Oh my god. Okay, strawberry, right? It it mm. sounds like a good idea. The first couple sips are a good idea, and then you just wanna you just wanna dump well, Okay, the rest. let let me correct you there. Um, it's a good idea, except when it's done by Bud Light. Okay, yeah, you're right, yeah. Just like strawberry margaritas, though that actually sounds really appetizing. I had a virgin strawberry margarita, it was bomb. Like, it was basically just a strawberry smoothie, but it was delicious. <laughs> yeah, no, I had, I had a lot of, like, virgin strawberry daiquiris and, like, Shirley Temples and stuff when I went to Cancun. Mm. Although, I mean, they don't really care if you have alcohol in them. In, like, the really southern part of Mexico, so... Yeah. But I figured, hey, you know what? Even if I'm on vacation, I should I should behave myself. You should be responsible. Yeah. This is also, like, ten years ago. What was you I, were 11. I, I would, probably wouldn't have let you drink. Oh, can't do that. Well, I... They were pretty... Depends, <laughs> this, I guess. This is also the Copacabana. True. Because, like, when I lived in Holland, like, they would let minors drink in public if their parents were with them, if that makes sense. Because then the parents could be like, okay, you're, you're not going to drink anymore. But, <laughs> okay, yeah. you've had enough. <laughs> but also parents were pretty lax about that. Like one of my friends, her mom let them have, you know, maybe a glass of white wine with dinner. But, the, you know, it was just more of a, like, hey, you know, see if you like it sort of thing. Not. Well, yeah, I can understand that. But yeah, so, strawberry eaters by Bud Light, not a good idea. No. Because the beer is just really, yeah. really overpowering. It's, it's, it's it, yeah, it's a very overpowering. You know, I'm going to kill a space pirate. Open the doors. Oh, he just... Because I think in here... Oh, wait, no, if I go in here, I just go to the space pirate area. So, remember how much I hated the research station Hydra? Yes. The space pirate area in this game is nowhere near as bad. I mean, I actually like it. Yeah, well, it likes you. <laughs> well, I'm glad. But, yeah, here we're coming up on... No, I can't... This is pretty. It is pretty. This area has three main areas. Like, this game has three main areas. Um, so, like, we, right now we're in the Aegon Wastes, and then later on we're going to get to the Torvus Bog and then the Sanctuary Fortress. Let's see. Oh. And I guess I can't say we're fighting our first real boss here. Now it's Gladiator State. Ugh. Bring out the lions! <laughs> yeah, pretty much I just have to wait until this happens. This boss is going to be the first of many of its kind. Ew. <laughs> that thing's going to explode, isn't it? And it's going to gross me out again. Um... I can't say for certain. It's been a while since I fought the Bomb Guardian. It's been a while. There we go, okay. I keep reminding me of videos that I like. <laughs> like it's I been just... a while. <laughs> since I've seen your pretty face. It's, it's been, been a while. while. Look at this crap! <laughs> <laughs> Did I show you that video? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Oh my god, it's like... Look at this meme! <laughs> one of the funniest videos fucking, like, in fucking the whole fuck, fuck. in the whole world is just Nickelback. Look at this, crap! <laughs> just look at this stupid smiling face. Oh god. Okay, one more hit. Yeah, but whenever I say it's been a while, it makes me think of, um, Ghost in the Souls. Oh yeah? The, that video, it's like... It's a Monday. <laughs> Just ah! <laughs> <What>, again? <laughs> I just realized I didn't even talk about that boss. Um, I said it was gonna be. The, I said it was gonna be the first of many. Um, we tried. Yeah, whatever. Like it's gonna be the first of many. Those are called. Um, those are the guardians. 
There are six of them in the game, and each one possesses one of your items. Oh, hey, Samus. So, that was the Bomb Guardian, so now we have the Morph Ball Bomb back. Yay! I just gave a thumbs up. You guys didn't get to see it, but... So now, in Morph Ball mode, I can... Wee! Wee! Oh, boink. I can have fun. I can have an adventure. I can go do shit. You know, one of the most irresistible things in video games is to jump your way around. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Like, if if you can get somewhere just as fast by doing anything else but running or walking, you're gonna do it. Well, you're yeah. Gonna you're gonna fucking jump your way. You're gonna roll your way across high roll field. Oh yeah. Like. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna you're gonna be just having a grand old time and suddenly just. <laughs> Oh, that's right. I have to, um, where is the... It's behind here. Or, like, in 358 days, all I did was dodge roll. That's, you know, once I got that ability, it was... <laughs> or I glide I around. Well, yeah, gliding is fun, but, like, I would start off by, like, doing... No, in Kingdom Hearts 2, when you get the glide ability, like, fully maxed out, there's a period, um, like, while you're gliding that you can actually just, like, kind of hover on the ground. Oh, yeah. So, like, I mean, you still drop down, but, like, when you hit ground level, you you'll still, still just kind of, like, wee! Yeah. Oh, now he's got spinny things. Yep. So, um, remember the, remember the artifacts from Prime 1? Yes. Do you, okay. Um. It took me a second, but yes. Yeah, in this game, like, in order to fight each boss, we have to collect three keys in the dark realm of, um in the dark realm of Aether. Um, and then at the end of the game, to get to the final boss, you have to find, like, nine special keys. So that's 18 keys in total. So we're finding even more MacGuffins. This game has just as many items as the last game, except for um, a few more keys and two more... Um, miss two more Power Bomb expansions. All right. So instead of having just a weird eight, now we have ten. A we weird, weird eight. Yeah. Well, because, like, 8... Like, 10 is a better number than 8 for that True. kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. No, you know what's... Well... It's more satisfying. Yeah, I guess it's not a weird number, but, like... You get 14 energy tanks in the game. Um, but I guess it's not, like, like a really weird number, because, um... You get 14 energy tanks in, um... In Super Metroid. And in both the first, in Metroid 1 and 2, you get only 5. Mm. So that's a step up. Also, if this game is, quote-unquote, canonically supposed to take place between uh, Metroid 1 and 2, how come Samus starts off with five, um... She starts off with five, um... energy tanks, and then only receive... and then, like, gets 14 and then gets back to five? What were you looking at? I, I confused myself for a second. I thought we were on our third video for recording, but... And then I looked and it said it's like 38 or whatever. Yeah, no. I, I confused myself. It's okay. Huh. Yeah, right off the bat we decided we are going to make these parts a little longer. Yeah. Yeah, just, you know, pack it full of more stuff so I can move on to the next game that Jet's going to be playing when we're going to be fun. Well, no, the next one I'm going to play is going to be short, but then it's the one after that that's going to be like, Oh, boy! Oh, wait, what? You're not playing the other one first? <laughs> I shouldn't spoil it. Yeah. Um, so, after I beat Metroid Prime, I'm gonna play... I'm gonna play one game, and then I'm going to play Dark Souls. Because, okay. fuck my life. Okay, I, I thought you were gonna play Dark Souls first. Well, no, I wanted to... No, I wanted to play, um... I wanted to play, like, one of the indie games on... That I got from the Humble Bundle. Oh, Before right, I played yeah. Dark Souls. Okay, yeah. I remember yeah. what you're going to play. I don't, I don't know how long this series is going to take, but yeah, um, I'm going to play Dark Souls and probably like shoot myself at the end of it all. Half Bith Pirate. Half Bith Pirate. Die, Space Pirate. They look dangerous, man. Like They got spikes and shit. The Space Pirates honestly um, got kind of ah. got kind of downgraded in this game. There's lore over there, but whoopee, I already scanned it. Like, no, 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 what is that stuff? Oh, it's possessing us. Oh, no. Oh, we're stronger. Hey, that's cool. We can kill the hunter. <laughs> oh, hey, look. Killed Samus. Yep, but since the, uh, 
since the Space Pirates got a downgrade in this game, like, because they're not the main villain. Oh shit, I am getting my ass handed to me. Go, 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 you can do it. Well, this is what I get for choosing to play on veteran mode. Whatever. It'll be fine. No, the toughest part about this game is going to be just Dark Ether itself. I don't know what you're talking about, so... I'll see what you mean when we get to that. So oh, you know. you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, we'll, we'll take care of that on the next exciting episode of Get Equipped With Gaming. Yeah. Take care, you pretty people. Bye, guys.